Lauren Middleton with Cutting Horse Central, and we decided to catch up with some of our non-pro finalists, our classic non-pro finalists. Um, we're going to start with Mr. Cameron Thompson and Miss Carly Schiarelli. Um, so, you guys, are you pretty excited about the finals? Yeah, I'm really excited. This is going to be my first non-pro finals in Will Rogers. Yeah? Yep. That's pretty cool. It is. What about you? Yeah, like, it feels like a dream to be showing here again and get the opportunity to be showing the horse that I am. Yeah, she's really pretty cool. She's pretty special. Yes, for sure. For sure. And your horse has had quite a bit of um, success in this arena, so that's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, he's had a good run, so hopefully I can continue it. Oh, yeah, you will. <laughs> you will, for sure. Um, do you guys have a strategy going into the finals? Um, both of us drew pretty early in our set, so hopefully mm -hmm. we can kind of be aggressive and kind of go after some of the cows we like. and. Hopefully there'll be some good cows in there and we can step up there and get cut and get shown good. Yeah, for sure. I feel like with just me, Cameron, and Madeline being in them, kind of just get our horses worked and come in and support each other and yeah. show. Yeah. Well, see, I was going to ask you guys about that because, so how exactly are you going to do that? Because <laughs> it actually works Madeline's out perfect. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, how does it, how are you guys going to manage Well, it that? worked out perfect because Cameron's in the first set, so I'll be able to get his horse ready. <laughs> And then he can get right off his horse and get right on Madeline's horse. <laughs> get it ready. And get it ready. And I have the best loafer ever, Megan. <laughs> so she'll just be on my horse. Yeah, so you, I mean. You yeah, I'm set. You're yeah. fine. Yeah. You're fine. Okay, well, um, so I was going to ask everybody kind of a, you know, funny random question at the end, but I decided to go with something more towards, like, cutting, you know, and not go too <laughs> off the wall. But um, are there, is there a particular cow that you lean more towards? Like, if something comes in the arena, and you're like, oh, I gotta cut that cow, like right off the bat. I try not to lean. <laughs> and every cow that I ever mention, they all look at me and tell me no. So basically, I just sit there and then show <laughs> and, so and still get yelled at for going too fast. Oh, no. Why well, I go too fast? <laughs> um, yeah, I actually like framers when they come in. Usually, I don't know why, I've just always been drawn to them on every Do you like the Brindle ones? Yeah, I like the Brindle Baldies, especially oh, if God. Casey's out there yeah. listening. Yeah, I know, that's Casey Green's specialty there. <laughs> yeah, so he was watching cows with me the other day, and I've always kind of messed with him, and then he started telling me cows he liked, and every single one of them I had written down, so I yeah. guess i got to quit making fun of him for it. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Well, congrats, you guys, Thank you. and Thank good you. luck. Thank Thanks. you. Now we're here with Blakely and Madeline Colgrove, who both made the finals in the Classic Non-Pro. Um, you rode Paradox Matilda, and you rode Sweet Baby Marie. Um, I think you both are in the same set, right? Yeah, yeah. So. yeah the so. second set. Yeah. Do you guys have a strategy going into it at all? I just hope to do good and get through a clean run, and just hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my strategy is probably just to, uh, since it's the final, just kind of let it happen, and you know, don't try to force it, just kind of, you know, let it be what it what it's going to be. Yeah. Well, you guys have been quite the dynamic duo um, as of late. Do you call her Josie? Isn't that right? Josie. Josie. Yeah. yeah. You guys have um, been, like, in the spotlight quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, she's been a really nice mare for us. Mm -hmm. She yeah. loves to cut. Can you, um, can you tell us a little bit about your mare? Anything special that you can tell us? Well, she is a, she's a half-sister, full-sister of Hayden. Half. And to a horse I used to show that I sold recently. Mm -hmm. And so that makes her pretty special because he meant a lot to me. But um, she's a really good horse to show, and hopefully I can get through a good run with her. Well, sounds <laughs> good. So, you guys, um, how does it feel <laughs> to be in the finals together? It's, you know, a privilege to be able to, you know, make the finals with your sister. And because, you know, we do a lot together. And, and she just loves me so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, sounds good. Well, good luck to you guys. Thank I'm sure you. you'll do awesome. Great. Thank, you. Thank you. Now we're here with Kelsey Johnson, who made the finals on Arts and Style. Um, tell us a little bit about this horse. Um, Art, he's a five-year-old gelding mm -hmm. by W.R. This Cat Smart and out of uh, Gail Holmes' Great Mare Stylish Playlina. Mm -hmm. Um, we, this is the first horse that my husband and I bought together. Oh, that's special. And, um, 
we bought him right after this show last year. Lloyd Cox mm -hmm. trained him, mm -hmm. and uh, we bought him last year right after the show. Oh, okay. Well, and so, so you're last in the first set. Yes. Um, which normally might yeah. make you a little bit nervous, but there's kind of a, something special about the draw. Um, yeah, I mean, w I won the Super Stakes in the Amateur, the five or six year old, in 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was last in the first set yeah. and on that draw too. And, you know, I just try to go in and be clean and it just fit, you know, it just all fit. and. You know, you can't try to force anything, you know, mm -hmm. if the momentum's there, it just happens. Yeah, and so that's going to kind of be your strategy yeah, this time, Yeah, I, I would like yeah. to hopefully clean up some um, <laughs> mistakes that I made in the go-rounds. Mm -hmm. um, some few little rider errors that I'm not proud of, but thankfully my horse covered up for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully I just try to clean up all that. Yeah, so is there anything that you do before a finals, like any superstitious anything that um, you do every time before a finals or anything like that no not really I mean you know don't wear yellow I would yeah. say is <laughs> yeah. my like main thing and that's just that's something I don't do um, but no not really I don't have any like little quirks I don't have a lucky pen or anything like that yeah. you know yeah well good luck to you thank you thank yep. you so much now we're here with two more of our classic non-pro finalists, Mr. Brandon Westfall, who made it on Laguna Girl, and Mr. Caden Rutherford, who made it on Fantastic One. Um, you guys, what does making the finals mean to you? Um, for me, it's pretty special. Um, this is my first non-pro finals in Will Rogers, so it's just kind of surreal, kind of making the jump from the amateur and into the non-pro and being able to compete with these people that have won a whole lot more money than I have, so it's pretty <laughs> yeah, cool. Pretty awesome, pretty good feeling. What about you? Yeah, it feels really good to be in here and uh, compete against all these other great riders and mm -hmm. have a chance to get in the finals is always good, Yeah. for sure. Yeah. When did you, uh, when did you draw in the finals? I think I'm seventh or eighth in the second set. Oh, pretty good draw. What about you? Um, I think I'm eighth in the first set. So. Yeah. Well, do you guys have a, a strategy at all going into it? Um, I just want to be smooth, cut my cows as smooth as I can, and just be as smooth as I can and get drove up as far as I can, though. But yeah. I just want to have a clean run and try and do the best that I can and have as much fun as I can. I'm gonna, yeah, gonna there try it is. Okay. the moment and yeah. really enjoy being in a in a five six non pro finals pretty pretty awesome yeah that's what I was gonna say you guys need to enjoy it have some fun yeah have some fun <laughs> <laughs> um, well so good luck to you two and we can't wait to watch you thank you very much thank you now we're here with Miss Laura Finnamore <laughs> who is also one of our classic non pro finalists she rode reminiscent um, and when are you in the finals this season? Uh, tenth in the first set. Tenth in the first set. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us how it feels to make the finals in here? Um, it's always amazing to make the finals here. Um, but I guess it's a little extra special. I won Ardmore on this mare, and I uh, told you guys during that run that it's been a relief as we had kind of a struggle all last year. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, I guess, just a kind of a feeling of relief again. To, do it again here so oh yeah for sure and I mean she's been such a special mayor too mm -hmm. and so Thank and you. extra special because she you raised her as well yes. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah very cool I know uh, personally that the raising them feels great you know it's an extra special thing but um so I wanted to ask you I know that there's a little ritual that you have on finals day and really I guess most show days can you tell us a little bit about that um, well, I have to have my Starbucks. <laughs> everybody knows Laura needs her Starbucks. And it's kind of gotten out to nowhere. Now I get everybody Starbucks, so yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm the Starbucks delivery person. Yeah. yeah. Well, everybody needs Starbucks. That's for sure, especially in this deal. But congratulations to you, and good luck, and good luck to all the finalists this evening.